Hi, my name is Sean Mabry. I am a fantasy writer, and today I wanted to talk about a big topic, which is almost certainly going to appear in future videos, because there's no way I could cover it in just one. But I wanted to get the conversation started around secularity, um, and specifically what I think the secular citizen is responsible for. And this is very personal and near and dear to my heart because I am secular and I grew up secular and um, my family, uh, you know, my parents to their immense credit, uh, were both, are both sec uh, secular people, but they never raised my sister and I with any expectation that we would turn out like them. And in fact, they allowed us to explore religion in our own ways and they were very open and honest with us about their point of view and just their experience with the world and their perspective. And it just, it, it worked out that I turned out secular um, pretty much throughout. Uh, and in fact, when I was younger, I was um, even quite a militant atheist. I'm not quite that anymore. Um, not quite militant and not quite atheist, but uh, certainly throughout high school I was. And the thing I wanted to talk about here is the fact that secular people, secular citizens, we are in this unique and tricky situation where our privilege is so contextual. There are places I can go, and in fact, the place I grew up, which informed a lot of my perspective as, as a young man, I grew up in Orange County, which is a very religious and politically right-leaning county in California, which, as you probably know, is normally a very blue, and if not secular, at least um, a secular open state. And with my beliefs being what they were and the community I was surrounded by, in fact, um, if you've ever heard of uh, Pastor Rick Warren and Saddleback Church, that was 10 minutes away from my house <laughs> uh, all throughout my, my childhood and young adulthood. So. I learned to be very careful about my beliefs. I learned to present them in a diplomatic way. I learned to pick my battles. I learned when it was safe to speak up and when it was not. And, you know, that I think in many ways contributed to my militant, militant uh, streak back then. I, it, it very much felt like a, a fight for survival often. Um, or at least a fight to keep the integrity of my identity um, in the face of people who would rather have me converted or in some cases rather just have me disappear. And then I went to college and I went to this really strange and fascinating shift where I came to realize that on that university campus at UC Santa Barbara, there was a kind of presumed secularism as a default. There, it was actually not only safe to be secular, but it was almost um, not quite expected, but it was a lot closer to the dominant paradigm. And I didn't have to hide it. Uh, I could be as, as much of a loud mouth as I wanted to be, frankly. And uh, I would find people who agreed with me and, and people who supported me, and I would get very little backlash. Uh, and that, I think, is what first opened my eyes to the fact that, like I said, our privilege as secular people is extremely contextual. There are places where we are part of the dominant paradigm. And when that is the case, I think it's crucially important for us to recognize that and to treat that with the responsibility that it entails. Um, and to, I think in those cases especially, uh, it's important for us to keep an ear open for religious communities who um, might be in a position of disadvantage and listen very carefully and you know, not necessarily to just subscribe to their beliefs but to keep our minds open and to keep our hearts open. Um, but then again, there's no denying that there are places where we are the minority and we are embattled and it's important to, in those cases, to keep your guard up. I mean. Trust me, if you're, if you're in one of those communities right now, um, I, I get it. I, I, I know how hard it is to, um, to walk on eggshells and to feel like 
there's a 50-50 chance that the people around you think you're actually human. Um, it's, it's, it's tough, and it sucks, but, um, but, you know, wherever you end up going, you know, whether you, you leave that community or not, um, always try to keep an open mind and be aware of how contextual our, our situation is, um, and keep fighting the good fight, um, fight for, for um, freedom of religion and freedom from religion, um, as I have always advocated. And yeah, like I said, this is a big topic. There's no way I could cover it in one video, so I'll be thinking about it more. And uh, if there's something, if any of you are curious about um, something else, another specific topic under the umbrella of secularism, I'd be happy to take suggestions. Um, and if not, you know, feel free to just uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening.